Hello, I'm Alex Hui. Many people have asked me, why doesn't my eczema get better? Or why does my eczema keep coming back? Well, eczema is a complicated condition that has many causes. But one main reason why people don't get better is because of the incorrect lifestyle habits that leads to the constant inflammation of the skin. So in this video, I would like to share with you top five mistakes that people with eczema often make that prevents them from getting better. So now let's get started. Mistake number one, scratching. Yes, I know this is obvious and it is very hard not to scratch when it itches. However, first let me explain the reasons why we should not scratch and then let me give out a couple suggestions to prevent that. The outer layer of the skin is responsible to act as a barrier so that the bacteria, virus, or allergens from the outside cannot invade our bodies. And if we scratch the skin, it will cause the barrier to be destroyed. Therefore, the water will be evaporated and the cells would be less tightly packed and bacteria and viruses could come into the body and which will lead to an inflammatory response. And the inflammatory response would also produce histamine which leads us to feel itchiness and therefore we scratch again, more water is lost, more bacteria come inside and more inflammation and that is a negative cycle. I know if the skin is very itchy, sometimes scratching is unavoidable. So that's why the first thing I ask my patients to do is to cut their nails. Because number one, the sharper the nails are, the more damage it could cause the skin. And number two, the longer the nails are, more bacteria will be hiding inside the nails. So when you scratch, the bacteria could go inside the skin. Sometimes at night during sleeping, it is hard to control the scratching, especially for children. Therefore, you can consider wearing clean gloves during sleep to prevent damaging too much. And if it itches during the day, you can consider using a towel, soak it in cold water, and then wring it dry and then put it on top of the skin. And afterwards, make sure to use moisturizer. And that leads to mistake number two, not moisturizing enough. As I mentioned, if there is water loss in the skin, the skin cells are less tightly packed together and therefore there is enough space for bacteria or allergens to invade the body. So therefore, one of the most important things that people with eczema should be doing is constant moisturization. So apply moisturizer all the time to prevent antigens from going in. Mistake number three, eat whatever you want. You are what you eat and certain foods could cause an eczema flare up. And in my previous video, I've mentioned the four main types of food that people with eczema should be avoiding. And if you didn't get a chance to look at it yet, I have put the link in the description below. Mistake number four, medication abuse. The most common medication abuse is antibiotics. Antibiotics could kill the healthy gut bacteria in our bodies. Therefore, we don't produce enough enzymes that can break down the foods, therefore leading to a food allergic reaction. And here, I don't mean I oppose the use of antibiotics. What I mean is that we should be careful and use it only when necessary. And after the use of antibiotics, it is important to carefully restore the gut balance. So in the future, I will make a video about how to restore gut health after using an antibiotic treatment. Other medications such as birth control pill could also lead to eczema since it could disrupt the balance of the gut bacteria as well. So basically what I suggest is use non-natural medication only when it is absolutely necessary. Mistake number five, neglect environmental factors. First of all, let's talk about weather and climate. In my past video, I have mentioned that heat and damp are the two pathogenic factors that could lead to eczema flare-up. Although we can't control the climate, but with today's technology, we can control the environment that we are in. So for example, with people who live in hot places during the summer, they can turn on the AC. And for people who live in damper places, they can use a dehumidifier. Besides the natural environment, there's also the controllable environment that we are in. So we should always make sure our area is clean and dust-free because dust, pollens, and molds can all trigger eczema flare-ups. So these are the five top mistakes that people with eczema should try to avoid and hope this can help you and your family and friends. So thank you for watching today. If you have any questions, leave in the comment section below. Stay healthy and I will see you next time.